but we're gonna stick with something simple for this $100 budget. Literally spent $99, okay? $99 got us all of these things that we need to make our soap. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nye, and this is Slay the Renee Way, a place where passionate entrepreneurs can come to grow, glow, and succeed in their small businesses. I wanna teach you guys how you can start your soap making business for under $100. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a couple of different things that go into making a soap business and actually starting a soap making business. I've done some research and I've realized we are probably overcomplicating the steps that we need to start and the inventory that we actually need to start a soap making business. I've made soap in the past. It's a really fun process if you enjoy making soaps that are not only beneficial to the skin but that smell nice and are really pretty. This is going to be the video for you so let's jump right into it. There are a few different ingredients and tools that you need to start your soap making business but I'll go through each one of them and we're going to get everything off of Amazon. Since 99% of us already have an Amazon Prime account you can actually order these things today and have them within two days and start making your soaps. So the first thing that you need obviously is your soap base. For this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys that you can use melt and pour soap bases. So a melt and pour soap base is essentially a melt and pour soap. You really just put the soap into a container that is microwavable or that you can put onto your stove top and you melt it and pour that into your molds. Which leads me to our next thing. After you get your melt and pour soap base, you do need some sort of soap molds. There are thousands of different soap molds that I'll show you guys. But we're going to stick with something simple for this $100 budget. Then you're going to need your fragrance oils, your mica powders for coloring. You might need some things that you already have around your kitchen, like a spatula, a measuring cup, and a kitchen scale to measure out all of the correct amounts of soap that you okay, will be using. But so that's on pretty Amazon much it. Once you get those few and ingredients, I want to take you, you guys can start making your soap. Literally so step let me get on to step step everything that you need to purchase. purchase. Starting with the melt and pour soap base. So open up your Amazon account, melt and pour soap base. There are tons of different types of soap bases that you can use. Um, the one that I used to use was a shea butter, glycerin, I think I did oat milk before as well. All of those are really different but they have really nice properties that will hydrate your skin and for different reasons you can be using any of them, it really doesn't matter. So let's look for a shea butter melt and pour soap base. Shea butter simply because there's going to be shea butter in the soap already which means that your skin will be hydrated upon washing your skin and that's going to double as a moisturizing soap which a lot of people need. Okay so let's look through some of our search results. Some that I'm seeing, um, they normally are going to be between 2 and 5 pounds and they're going to come in like a plastic container. When I started I just got like a 5 pound block of soap base but this is going to be our initial soap so we, we can get about 4 pounds and still get away with it. So let me show you which one I would go with. Um, here's a shea butter one that's two pounds. It costs twenty dollars per two pounds. That's really affordable. But then if we look over here on the right hand side, I see one that is five pounds and it's thirty dollars. So obviously, the more soap base that you get, the more soap you're going to be able to make. Um, but for starters, let's try to stay within budget. Okay, we're going to stay within budget. This is the brand that I would use. This is the Valona 2 pounds Shea Butter Melt and Pour Soap Base. Um, it's $14.95, y'all. So we're going to add three of these to the cart. We should be able to get away with having three. So go ahead and add those three to your cart. Um, it is 100% natural, so don't worry about it having any like extra additives or anything. All the things that you add to the soap base will be based on your preference for what you want to sell. It's going to moisturize the skin, and it also has... A high level of linoleic acid and oleic acid which helps to balance oily skin so something that you have to keep in mind when you're making soap is you got to be able to talk to your customer about what the benefit of your soap versus a leading brand soap would be so some of these different pieces of information that are in the description box you want to take note of because that is going to be your selling point when you start to sell your soaps after we got our soap base, now we're going to look into soap molds. I love looking into the soap molds because there's so many different options. You can get creative and do whatever you want, but I would say not to spend more than $10 on your initial soap molds because eventually you'll start building upon your soap, bolt, your soap mold inventory. But to start, here's the one that I would use. It's this pack of a regular rectangular soap bar, and it's three packs of them for $8.99. 
So we want to add that to the cart. So let me show you what they look like. We got a pink one, a blue one, and a green one, which means that you can be making, you can make at least 18 bars of soap all at once. So that's something I like is the fact that you have three packs and one for less than $10, y'all, you can't beat that. So this is what I would recommend to use. Um, silicone molds are my favorite because they're really easy and flexible. Whenever you melt your pour, your soap into your mold, all you have to do is literally bend the mold and pop the soap right out. It's very simple. You won't have to worry about cutting or anything like that yet. That's going to take some time to learn because cutting soap is not as easy as it looks. So here's the soap mold. Now that we've got our molds, let's look at some soap making fragrances. Make sure that you're looking for fragrance oil that is skin safe. You don't want to get anything that's going to irritate your skin. And with making soaps, your fragrances shouldn't be too overpowering, but obviously you want to have a soap that smells nice so that your customer has something that's going to make them smell good after their bath or shower. I would recommend getting like a bulk pack of maybe six to ten different fragrance oils to start. You see how they have this large one right here? Yes, you could do that, oat milk and honey, but you're only going to get one scent and we have at least 18 bars of soap that we can make. So I would recommend making at least like three to five different scents of soap to see what your customers may or may not like. So let me scroll down. Um, there's one that I saw earlier that is really, really nice. And I think it's only like $10. Oh, yep, here it is right here. So it's about to be springtime, y'all. Floral scents are going to be what people are looking for. Something light and airy and that smells like flowers. It's very pretty. So we have this floral essential oil, premium fragrance oil for candle making. All right, these are 0.17 ounces, which means they're really, really small. But the good thing with making soap is you don't need to have a lot of drops of fragrance oil to actually smell the fragrance oil in the soap. So I would recommend getting this. It's a set of 10. That's 10 different scents that you can play around with. And keep in mind, y'all, you can mix some of these scents up to make a whole new scent. So technically, you could have like 20 different variations of scents for your soaps. So here's what I would recommend using. Now that we've done the soap molds, we've done the soap. And we've got the fragrance oil. Sometimes we want our soap to be a little bit cute. And we want to put like a mica powder. Make sure that you're looking again for mica powder for soap. Because there's mica powder for crafting. And we want something that's going to be skin safe so that it doesn't irritate your customer's skin. Same process with the fragrance oil. Less than $10 because a lot of mica powder, a little bit of mica powder goes a long way. So you don't need a lot of this at all. Um, we have... A good amount of soap so let's do this one right here that's 26 colors and 26 really easy to mix colors for soap making lip gloss making perfect that means that it's skin safe and that's a lot of different colors again like I said y'all you can mix these colors up so if you don't like the way that the pink looks add a little bit of purple or a little bit of red to it to, to get the actual color that you like you got to get creative you got to get creative we on a budget we got a hundred dollars y'all we got to make this work okay so now we've got the mica powder, let me open this and make sure. Okay, mica powder, fragrance oil, melt and pour soap base, and actual soap molds. Now, we might need to go ahead and get like a, you want to have something to package your soaps in. So, this is going to be what you actually put the soap in once you're ready to sell them. I recommend using these cellophane bags. You ever seen those clear bags that are self-adhesive? They have like a little clear strip on the top. You fold it over and you seal it. You're done just like that. The 4x6 is probably a good enough size, or you can do 5x7. But here we go, right here. We have 100 for $5, y'all. 100 bags for $5. You cannot go wrong with this. That is 100 bags that you can package your soaps in. And this will make it really easy because once you restock, you'll always have some of these bags to use. That's $5. Not bad at all. And then the other thing that we want to look into is... It's optional. You don't absolutely have to get this, but I will say you need a kitchen scale to measure out the amount of soap that you're going to be using per melt and pour. Very affordable. You can get one for $7 right here. We're on a budget. Of course, you can upgrade this equipment later and get the most fancy, most well-reviewed kitchen scale, but it's really just a kitchen scale to measure a couple of pounds of soap. Not even. So get this one right here, y'all. $7.99. Boom, bam, boom. You probably already have spatulas and things and bowls and stuff in your kitchen, so that's not going to be included in this budget. But if you needed that, yeah, you can go to Dollar Tree and get a paper bowl to use to mix. Now, what you don't want to do is mix in hot liquid in a paper bowl. So what I would recommend doing is getting those large 
I think it's like party bowls. You ever seen them at Dollar Tree? Um, I don't try to include a screenshot up here. But in Dollar Tree, they have large party like punch bowls and stuff like that that are hard plastic. You can use those. It's going to be a dollar. So you don't have to go on Amazon and spend $10 on a bowl. Alright y'all. One more thing I want to show you really quickly. It's also optional because we did get a shea butter soap base. You don't necessarily need to add any oils into your soap. But if you want to have a super hydrating so you can actually look for castor oil for soap making. Castor oil I recommend because it's the most nourishing for the skin. Um, it's very thick and especially in the wintertime months you want something that's going to actually... Once you're washing your skin, you know how you wash and you feel that squeaky clean feeling? With this soap with the castor oil in it, it will feel clean. You will be clean but you'll still have hydration left over in your skin. So let me show you the one that I'm going to use. It's this one right here. It's a 16 ounce premium 100% pure and natural carrier oil for skincare, hair, and body oil. This, y'all. is This is the only oil that you might need to start with. I'm telling you right now, shea butter soap making base and castor oil is going to do you justice for your soap bars. So if I go to my cart right now and show you guys everything that I have. My total literally spent $99, okay? $99 got us all of these things that we need to make our soap. Everything that you saw me add to this cart on Amazon, I'm going to link all those items down below. So literally all you need to know is you're going to be spending just $100 on everything you need to start your soap making business. If you guys want a tutorial on how to make some soap, I still have all of my supplies so I can show you guys how I would make soap if I were to be starting a soap making business. Or if you just want tutorials on basic beginner soap making guides, I'll show you. Um, it's pretty simple, it's straight to the point, but y'all take your $100 and go ahead and invest in your business. You don't have to spend more than that to start. Anything over that can come later down the line, but to begin, all you need is a couple of different ingredients, a little bit of knowledge on how to make a soap, and you're ready to start your business. So, girl, get up and let's go make this money. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. See y'all in the next one. Peace.